Nate Powell, are you ready for my five fabulous questions? Yes. They're really not that fabulous. All right. Question number one is, how did you get started working in comics? Well, I started publishing my own comics when I was like 14 years old. Uh, so I went from photocopying comics and selling them on tour with my band uh, to getting a grant and saving a little bit of money to start printing them in an offset printer. And I sort of learned the ropes of how to distribute them myself and just moved up from there to uh, taking the comics that I had made and sending them out to publishers that I liked and building up a relationship with them. But yeah, it's something that, you know I've been doing for over 20 years since I was like a seventh grader. Wow, okay. So, clearly you read comics when you were a kid. Oh, yeah. What were, or who were some of your influences? As a kid, my biggest influences were, of course, like these superhero artists like Arthur Adams and Michael Gold. But when I really started to tell stories that were, I guess, my own and they were part of this world that we live in, uh, big early influences were like Chester Brown, John Porcelino, uh, Dylan Horrocks, uh -huh. and uh, some of the, some newer folks that I just really love a lot include like Dash Shaw, Gabriella Gianzelli, yeah. Sean Tan. The oh yeah, the arrival. Uh, yeah, the yeah. arrival is amazing. Um, and you know there are tons more, but uh, th <laughs> I'd say those are really prominent ones that uh, I find myself coming back to a lot. Very good. What are you currently working on? I'm doing a lot of stuff. I just finished a new issue of a comic called Sweet Tooth that'll be out in a month. Yes. Uh, and so creepy. <laughs> I, I just finished drawing a hybrid novel, graphic novel with Cecil Castellucci. That's called Year of the Beasts. That'll be out in a couple weeks. Very good. Uh, I'm writing and drawing my own graphic novel, which is called Cover, and that, that'll be out in right four years. <laughs> I'm also... Uh, doing a work for hire where I'm drawing a graphic novel adaptation of the Rick Riordan adventure novel Heroes of Olympus, The Lost Oh, Hero. wow. Yeah, that'll be out in 2014. That's huge. Definitely. Yes. Uh, and the other thing I'm doing is I'm drawing a still secret autobiographical graphic novel by someone who will be disclosed, I guess, in July. Okay. Um, and that's a graphic novel from Top Shelf. And that'll right. probably be out in 2015. Cool. Yeah. That's, so, so you're keeping busy, is what you're saying. I'm doing the best I can. Off the streets yeah. and out of trouble. Oh, yeah. It's Very good. Done. All right. The next question is, what graphic novel or comics have you read in the past year that you would recommend as being fantastic for kids or for teens? Ah, well, I'd say that Anya's Ghost by Vera Brosco. Yeah. One of the best books I've read the in Good stuff. Years. That's yeah. That's great. Um... Let me think. In my mind, I'm going alphabetically. Through my, <laughs> exactly. Through my books. Start with Anya. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Move on down. Um, let's see. I will say that I always re I always return to uh, this book called uh, Hicksville by Dylan Horrocks, yeah. which I think is the best graphic novel ever made. Wow. And uh, it's sort of I feel like it's it's very readable, but there are all these levels. Like there are people on this little island. And a journalist goes to investigate some things on the island, but everybody in the island makes and writes comics and zines. And so to investigate his story, he has to go to the local zine library or comic book library and read everyone's comics, which give accounts of how things went down on the island. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's just sort of a mind blowing book for people of any age. Cool. Uh, so I'll give you those two. That sounds yeah. good. And I'll link to I'll link to those to um, IndieBound. So people can pick those up if they want to. And the, um, my last question, this is the librarian one, right. is if you were stranded on a desert island and could only bring one book with you, it doesn't have to be a comic, right. what would that book be? I might bring, if I were on a desert island, I would, ooh. Yeah. For, uh, for brevity and power, I might bring Invisible like, City by Tala Calvino. Ooh. Or for an ever deepening mystery that could be reread a million times, I might bring The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. Ooh, very nicely done. Thank you so much. This was great. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right.